Hey, you viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratus, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. This is the eighth episode now, I do believe, if I got that number correctly. If I got the number correct, even. Monokuma has just appeared in our room. God knows what he wants. We're just going to throw ourselves back in and see what the deal is with this little bear. Too bad, it's me! A very much anticipated reaction. Taiede. It hurts my heart to be screamed at by a young girl. But it hurts so good all the same. You into that kind of thing, are you? Oh, geez. What do you want? Hey, um... I figured I'd come let you know that some of the research labs are open. Huh? It means the ultimate research labs, those classrooms tailored to our 16 talents. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh, your lab is finally all set up, so you can go in whenever you want. Oh yeah, that was the um, room on one of the upper fl on the uh, upper floor that looked like it was for someone who was into piano. First, I think I thought it was a music room, but apparently it's. No, I'm guessing it must be a, specifically a room for Kaede. We'll have to go and check that out then. Now go to the ultimate pianist lab right away and compose a murderous melody. A murderous melody? What are you even talking about? So, are you going to invite me inside for tea or what? Nine, of course not. Yes, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Can't bear you being in this room. I slammed the door in Monokuma's face with all my might. Aww. Jeez, that was super annoying. Nope. Oh, Jeez. That was quick. That better be Shuichi this time, or someone else, someone other than Monokuma. My god, how annoying. <laughs> I don't think it's him. Oh, wait, for, for all we know, it's probably Monokuma. Once again, out there going, Where's my tea? Give me my tea! Jeez, enough already, you're bothering me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I knew it would be. I had a feeling. I'm sorry, Josie. Should I come back later? Uh. Oh, Shuichi, sorry. Just ignore what I said. Um. I wanted to talk to you too, Shuichi. I was wondering if we needed anything for the plan. Uh, um. That's what I wanted to talk to you about, Josie. I might not know how to keep watch on the library. Huh? Wouldn't be planning on hiding inside the library under keeping watch from there. Hmm. If we did that, Josie, we risk the mastermind running into us. It's safer to watch from further away. Hmm. Okay. We also need hard evidence to convince everyone of the Mastermind's identity, Josie. Got to get the call, Pa. So that's why I thought it might be good I'd set up cameras. Okay. Cameras. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question, actually. Now that I think about it. Are there security cameras in this place? So I don't know if I've actually seen any. Um. Cameras. Okay. I found some cameras and security sensors in the warehouse, Josie. With some meta modification, we could combine the two. I have cameras that will detect movement and take pictures. Okay, you've got a bit of a creative mind, I see. We set up a few in the library, Josie. We can capture proof of the mastermind. We don't have to be in the library for this to work, so we are less likely to get caught. I see. As that's a really good idea. But do you know how to modify a camera? That's... Well, you may not know Shuichi, but I can think of one person who might. Oh, Josie, I don't know how. That's why I wanted to ask Mew. The ultimate inventor could help us. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. But... but she's pretty intimidating, Josie, so I'm having trouble talking to her by myself. That's right. Well, in that case, we should ask her together. Uh, um... So Mew heading to the dining hall, Josie. I think she'll still be there. Is that all right? But we should be careful about what we tell her. She might be it. She might be it. Saying Mew might be the mastermind. I doubt it, but yeah. Well, if that's what you think. Okay, so we have a plan. Oh right, I guess we're out of here. Coins. You has coins for me. See, look. It's like the coins keep being replenished every time I uh, smack things around in here. Don't worry, Shuichi. This is just part of Kaye Day's morning routine. Morning routine of smacking the furniture around. So look, like, in here, just to get back to what I was saying a moment ago, there doesn't appear to actually be a surveillance camera in here. I just thought about that when they mentioned cameras just then. Unless this monitor up here somehow has some kind of camera built into it, but it doesn't look like it. Unless it's like a two-way viewing screen, like in 1984, something like that. Big Brother is always watching. Oh, is there something on side? No, it's just a plant. Yeah. Because that's the thing, Trigger Happy Havoc and Danganronpa 2, there were always surveillance cameras in pretty much every location. Just watching at all times. Is there one in here? Oh, hello Kaito, you're up there. I don't see one in here, either. That's just what's got me a bit sort of interested now. No surveillance cameras. That's peculiar. 
It makes me wonder then. So, because the whole thing about obviously Trick Happy having Danganronpa Rubber 2 was that Monokuma, or rather the person controlling him, had the surveillance cameras and had a means of actually monitoring the whereabouts and the doings of the students at all times. Whatever they did, the mastermind more or less would know. Well, except, to, well, technically in Trick Happy Havoc, if you want to be technical, there were ways to distract the mastermind. Because, spoiler alert, the thing about Trick Happy Havoc was that the mastermind couldn't monitor the surveillance feeds and control Monokuma at the same time. So, obviously, the students used that to their advantage. Then, it, obviously, in Danganronpa 2, because that was all taking place in a virtual world, Monokuma didn't really technically even need the surveillance cameras there. Because, of course, everything that was happening, presumably, was like flashing up on a console. And as a result, he could just watch that and know everything that's going on. So I'm kind of wondering, what's the deal here? If there's no security cameras, at least none that we can see, then does that lend credence to what I was suggesting earlier in a previous episode? Because you remember those little flashing scenes where we saw Kaide very briefly, like less than a second, in what appeared to be some kind of machine? I'm just wondering, is this is this going to be the same as Danganronpa 2? Is it going to be virtual world and all that? I'm not sure. I mean, it's still early days. I'm just hypothesising at this point. Don't spoil anything for me in the comments. Don't tell me. I'm sure the game will probably answer this. Uh, you know, especially once we get to the later stages. Oh, good morning, Kaito. Got it. Well, hey, good morning. What are you after? You have to get some Prowlersec? Uh, um... Oh, Josie. You know... This is that thing from yesterday, you're keeping secret? Yeah. Yeah. I see. Well, I would stick my nose in it. I decided to believe in you guys, just as I believe in the special powers of Prowlersec to get rid of your heartburn. But don't do anything too rash, okay? After all, you said we are all going to get out of here together. You know, this guy seems alright, doesn't he? That probably means he's going to betray our trust at some point and murder us. After I heard you say that, I had no choice but to put all my money on you and Shuichi. Kaito. Yeah. Yeah, everything will be fine. And if I do try to do something crazy, Shuichi will stop me. That's... Hey, of course, Josie. <laughs> oh, you guys make a good duo. All you need now is some Prilosec tablets. Stick them down to your throat. Gargle them. Deep throat those motherfuckers. They'll be good for you. Get rid of your heartburn. Or make it increase, depending on uh, whatever you want. <laughs> Sorry. I know this uh, Prilosec thing was a Game Grumps thing. It's like I'm hijacking their joke, but... God damn it, it's just, it's just a convenient voice, that's all. Alright, little guy, what's up? Little Barack Obama. Ah, uh. oh, Guten Morgen, Ryoma. Oh, hey, it's you. I am sure you too, huh? You guys are uh, always together. Huh? That, they're not always together. <laughs> well, not always, but I feel like whenever I see one of you, the other one's uh, nearby. <laughs> Is that right, Josie? Sheesh. Well, it's not a bad thing. You can't protect yourself when you're... Um, when you're alone. Huh? Be careful. I thought something would happen at night. When it's uh, easiest to get someone alone. But everyone's safe and nothing all that bad has happened. Jeez. Of course, no one would do that. <laughs> I've said it before, but uh, if you really want to live through a situation like this, grumbling won't help. Um. That? Sheesh. I understand that you want to believe in everyone, but idealistic thoughts like that won't save anyone. You might end up losing what you tried to save. Huh? What do you mean by that? No. Who knows? I've talked a little too much. More importantly... Anyway, you guys only have a little bit of time left to think. That's the situation. The best thing to do is live life with confidence. Jeez. That's all I can say. Hmm. You trying to give me a warning or something there, little dude? What's this? You've got like a chain around your ankle. <laughs> okay. You know, so many characters in this game who I just want to spend free time events with. I think there's someone else down there. Is that Kibo? It is Kibo. It's Robo Boy. Might as well talk to him. Because I think it does boost your level. Guten Morgen, Kibo. Yeah. Meow. Yeah, good morning, Kari. Baby doll. Your time is impeccable. I have something I wish to ask you both. Huh? What is it, Josie? Well then. Meow. Yeah, what are your thoughts on this door? No matter how hard I try, it will not open. Um. Is there a door here? Did I check that before? Well, it doesn't seem like an exit. That's right. Meow, what do you think is on the other side of this wall, baby doll? Hey, hey! Oh, God. Jesus. I was, there's a weird little pause there. I was wondering what was going on. So you're here as well, are you, gnome boy? 
Oh, why don't you just fly over and see for yourself? Huh? Yeah. Hmm. Kukichi. <laughs> oh, come on, I want to see you fly, you little Gnoblin. Robots have jetpacks or whatever under their feet, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can say Robophobia. <laughs> oh, you don't. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. You're still on this subject, lad. You're still thinking about that. Oh, have a dick. Please stop. Yeah, what are you talking about? Right. Oh, yeah, if we had a jetpack, you could have flown over the wall and called for help. Oh, oh, oh geez, you're just a huge disappointment, Kivo. Oh. Wow. Well, nice interjection from you. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> yeah, keep. Oh, wrong voice. Kivo. Unfortunately. Yeah, I'm fine. Please just let it be. I don't like sci-fi functions like flight at all, baby doll. But aren't you already pretty sci-fi? Yes, I suppose he is. Which, uh, oh. Oh, this was a door. Did I check this before? I don't even know. See, there's actual lettering on it. A-V-A-R. Avar. Avaritia. Avaritia. And then a load of U's, X's, and L's. A's and whatever. It looks like a castle gate. What's past here? The Schloss Kaede. <laughs> Schloss Kaede. The Castle Kaede. That just sort of came out, didn't it? Uh, I think we are head... Where are we heading again? We're heading to... Oh yeah, talk to Miu, aren't we? That's right. Dining hall. God, I actually forgot. Oh, hey there, you. Oh, pfft. sorry. Kaede likes getting in people's faces, it seems. Hey. She likes getting in people's faces. As evidence with uh, old Granny earlier in the game, we're poking at her. Hey, good morning, Gringo. Yeah. Good morning, Rantaro. Yeah. Good morning, Josie. Actually, may I ask you a question? What's wrong? What's up, amigo? Being questioned by the ultimate detective is making me kind of nervous. Uh, um... No, it's not, Josie. It's nothing bad. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing, Gringo. What's up, Shuichi? Hey! I want to know what you mean meant by the ultimate hunt, Josie. Yeah, this thing that he mentioned. That's right. Oh yeah, I wanted to know about that too. Are you going <laughs> to tell us? Apparently not. Okay. I told you, Gringo, it's nothing. Just forget about it. But... No. Look, I told you. Like I told you before, I'm just a little confused. Not being able to remember my own talent is stressing me out, amigo. Never mind. Really, I'd appreciate it if you didn't ask me about it anymore. Sorry. Curious. I understand, Josie. Sorry if it seemed like I was interrogating you. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry that I'm not much help, Gringo. Well, then I'll see you later. And he's off. Shuichi? Hey, Shuichi, do you think Rontaro is really just confused? Could it be? I don't know, Josie, but he certainly doesn't want to talk about it. We shouldn't ask him any more questions. I see. Yeah, we should be focusing on exposing the mastermind. Yes. He's a strange character, but... I don't know, usually characters who are a bit strange, who are outwardly very strange. I don't know, do they sometimes turn out to be the villains or antagonistic? Or do they actually turn out to be reliable or significant in some way? Who knows? Here she is, old Goofy herself. Yes, I've been looking forward to talking to you ever since they mentioned you a moment ago. Mio is sitting down, looking like her usual haughty self. Seems like she's alone. Alright. First, before we do that though, Miu, Kaide needs some furniture fetish indulging. Furniture slapping fetish, that is. So please, uh, stand up from your chair. There we go. See, you get more coins out of it. It's funny how you can't go into the kitchen in this one. You can see it right over there, where I'm circling with the mouse cursor, but you can't actually go in. Alright, Goofy, what's up? Good morning, Miu. Yeah, who's a flash just a kind, eh? What are you on your pathetic tits, one? Wow, that's one way to greet a person, isn't it? <laughs> Kaide just looks at her like, you fucking serious? I'll just pretend I didn't see her that. Um. And why are you even calling her flat chested? She's actually. I, I mean, I, I, okay, actually, no, let's not. <laughs> I was about to say, she's got pretty, uh, you know, notable assets of her own, Mew. Well, may I have a small favour to ask of you, Mew? Right, Shuichi? You're right. Yeah, Josie, actually there's something that we want you to make. We found cameras and security sensors in the warehouse, and, uh... Do you think you could make cameras that detect movement and take pictures, Josie? As in, it would automatically take a picture if the motion sensor detects something? 
Oh, yeah, oh, hell are you gonna use that for, Gorsh? Uh, um... To keep Monokuma under surveillance, Josie, we might learn important information. Yeah. Yeah, exactly that. Please, Mio, we need your help to get everyone out of here. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, okay, I get it now. Bitch. My answer is no. Huh? What? You know. You plebs got a lot of nerve asking me for a favor. Gorsh. We you grubs in a past life is only you don't understand basic human courtesy? Fuck all y'all! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man. She is a very noteworthy character. and I don't think we've had a character who's been quite so... How should I say? Verbally... Aggressive? To put it that way? In any previous Danganronpa game? I don't know, she feels like she's in a league of her own. <laughs> I'll forgive you just this once. Get out of here before I whip out the book spray. <laughs> Damn. Well, that went well, didn't it? Without thinking, my body moved on its own. Hmm? You, oh, I was about to say, did you slap her? Please, Mew. <laughs> oh, why are you kneeling to her? Come on, can't you just do the thing where you, you know, you dish it back at her? Because you know what she's like in all the times you've interacted with her. She can't take it in return. Just, just you know, freaking dish it back and she'll probably do it for you. <laughs> What's that sound? I really want to get out of here with everyone. And to do that, I need your help. So, please, I'm begging you. Kaede. Kaede? Oh. Shuichi? You're helping out, are you? You decided to come down with us? <laughs> your cat pearl looks a bit funny there. It's like it's balanced on top of your head without being properly on. I'm begging you too. We could really use your help, Mew. Please? What the hell? Quit bowing to me. No, I won't stop. Yeah, because you probably like to be the one who actually is uh, <laughs> bowing to your dominant partner, eh? I'm gonna That's what I'm like guessing. Until you say you'll do it, Mew. I'll do it for however long it takes. I don't know. I'm, I'm just making up details for the character of my own. Hell uses bowing as a threat. F fine. I'll do it. Okay. Okay, that was easier than I thought. What? Really? I thought we were going to have to be abusive to her. <laughs> I don't know. I grasped me his hand. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you, I owe you. Even after the escape, I'll owe you forever, and ever, and ever. Oh, don't say that. Should probably think up something weird. I... I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm not doing this for you guys. My research lab in the garden just opened up, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, I was already thinking about checking it out. So I can have a hand back now? Because this is starting to creep me out, Gorsh. Uh, well, sorry, I was just so happy. Mm. But your hands always this clammy. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing with those hands of yours, girl? What did I do? Yeah, anyway, you bring me the security sensors and cameras will I change my mind, fucking Gorsh. I've been waiting for my research lab in the garden. <laughs> Alright, off she goes. Okay, that went better than expected. I didn't expect them to actually get down on their knees and bow to her. Part of me feels like, part of me, part of me is curious to know what would have happened if we'd, uh, you know, dished some insults back at her. Would she have uh, just relented instantly? Mio wobbled out of the dining hall as if she had been thrown off balance. <sighs> Thank God, I'm glad we managed to convince her. Then... Let's go to the warehouse to get the cameras and sensors right away, Josie. Okay, warehouse it is. Uh, I guess we're just going, right? Yeah. The warehouse is literally just across the way from here, so that should be good. At least it brings you out here. For a second I thought, hang on, because I came in through the other entrance, will it put me outside? But no, we're here. So with those broken TVs off to the left. Get those in Mio's lab, maybe she can fix them up. Alright, we'll get to the uh, cameras in a second. Oh, is it going to let me smack some objects around? Well, this place is huge. I hope we can find all these things we're looking for. That's... Oh, don't worry, Josie. I know where the cameras and sensors are. I'll go get them. You can wait here. Yeah. Oh, are you sure? Sorry. Apologies <laughs> if you just heard me making a burping sound just then. Let me have a sip of some tea. Ah! After he sets out, Shuichi walked to the back of the warehouse. Oh, do we get an opportunity to just uh, smack some shit around? See, look, there's something there that we can... Oh, we can take out those big pool. Are they lawnmowers back there? <laughs> There's lawnmowers. Oh wow, I could have smacked them aside as well. Get rid of the little baskets of footballs, jerry cans, and fruit trucks, and whatever. See, look, 
Oh my god, you can destroy so much in here and I didn't even realise. There we go. Ah. Okay. You know, I was looking back there and I was just smacking some objects. I feel like... Was there a pile of tarps back there? Like big blue tarps? Because I could have recalled, wasn't there a case in Dragapi Havoc or something with tarps? Or were they gym mats? They might have been gym mats, actually, now that I think about it. Alright, what am I doing here? Do I just have to begin look at something? Or... The mats? While Shuichi just does his thing? Do I have to look at stuff in order to make time advance? A gym mat has been placed here. It's probably for PE classes or something. Uh, input! 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 Import! There we go. But we haven't had a single PE class yet, so I'm not sure if we'll ever use this. Well, it's not exactly the sort of place where you have classes, is it? A remote-controlled helicopter. What's this doing in a school warehouse? Hmm. Well, you get it? Can you fly it above the wall, maybe? Shot put balls. Is this a wooden box? As these iron balls, they look like they're for shot put. I picked one up to see if it was as heavy as it looked. Until boss. You know, fun fact. That when I was in high school, so many years ago, so, so many years ago, we once did shot put. We did it once, like in year seven, and then we never did it again for the remainder of our time in high school. I always thought to myself, in that friggin' PE equipment cupboard that they had at my high school, they had so much equipment. So much equipment, it feels like they never did anything with it. They had shot put balls. I remember they did discus at one point. So, yeah, they had all kinds of cool stuff, but instead, no. At my freaking high school, all we ever did in PE was play bloody football. Soccer for you Americans. Maybe mixed in with a bit of basketball, sometimes a bit of cricket. But, um, yeah. I would have I wouldn't have minded maybe doing more things like shot put and stuff like that. I don't know. It just, it's just a very different kind of sport, that's all. The athletes who have to hurl these things are pretty impressive. Input. Hmm. Come on now. Kaide, what are you doing, Josie? Uh or oh, Shavichi had done already. Okay. See, I knew it. I had to just click on some objects and examine some stuff. Yeah, I got the cameras, Josie. I think three should be enough. Huh? Oh. Quick camera. Disposable cameras. Will these work? Uh, input. Input. Uh, input. Um. Don't fucking balls up on me now. That's all they had, Josie. But they work. It should be fine. There's also a photo developing solution here, so we don't have to worry about that. Hmm. But then if you're fine with some. Well... Yeah, those three cameras should be okay, Josie. Also, here's a security sensor. When this sensor picks up movement, it triggers this receiver to make a sound. We should get three of these as well. I see. As huge as this warehouse is, I didn't expect it to have security sensors in stock. Uh. Well, do you want me to carry the cameras? I can put them in my backpack. I only have my music sheets under spare vests, so there's still plenty of room inside, really. Just carrying your music sheets around, are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, let's go talk to Mio, Josie. As I took the three disposable cameras from Shuichi, I suddenly stopped. What's up? Will these cameras really work? Even if we take pictures of the Mastermind and persuade everyone, what will we do after that? The Mastermind could just smirk and order the Exiles to attack everyone. Could we really protect everyone with this plan? Will we really be able to escape this place? Hmm. Josie, is something wrong? We need to go before Mio changes her mind. Shuichi was already at the door of the warehouse waiting for me. Oh, sorry. I shoved the things I was holding into my backpack and ran after him. Okay, let's go. A little go. Let's go and find Goofy and see what the Goofy has to say about the plan. Well, actually, yeah. we know what she has to say. Let's go show she hasn't changed her mind. All right, let's go to Mio's lab, Josie. I saw it in the courtyard. Why well, his voice changed then, but never mind. Oh, it means the large building in the garden at the bottom of the stairs. Hmm. Up until now, our research labs have just been normal classrooms. Yeah. That seems all right, doesn't it, Josie? Yeah, we have to check out this research lab. It probably won't let me do that just yet, though, I'm guessing. Will it? I'm guessing. I don't know. Will he? See, look, can I go up? Hey. No, we have to, yeah, we have to go and do this thing with Mew. I'm just wondering, will we get any more uh, free time events? Because we've had a couple already now. We've had our first two. Hmm. Sip some tea. Let's give her the cameras and sensors before she gets in a bad mood, Josie. All right, let's go to Mew's lab. I saw it in the courtyard. Okay, fine. Let's do that. And that does a run post haste to Mew's lab in the garden. Mew's garden lab. See what sort of stuff she's getting up to in there. Oh, hey. There's a fair few people around here. What's going on? Might as well talk to him. Oh. Hello, Angie. Hello, televangelist. Come on, come on. 
Well, praise be! Good money, good money to you both! Spending time together again, sharing the love of our Lord to her. No, is that all you have to say? Okay. That was a simple one. Alright. David Frost. What's up? I'm mm, sleepy. I don't sleep while I was trying to took all my courage to see the bathroom. But well, people can overcome their fears when they're really forced to. So she was holding it in. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> good to know, I guess. Jeez. <gasps> Ooh, Kaede, say something to her. Um. What's going on? Mm -hmm. I think he's trying to brainwash me and Himiko with her two nonsense. But, but... Well, press B, brainwash. I'm just answering Himiko's questions about the two. Uh, how can you call a brain? What ain't you being heretical? Are you blaspheming against the word of our one true God? What? <laughs> you think Himiko, of all people, believes in two of magic? Well, both are hard to believe. It'll be okay. I don't believe in him. It's just strange to me that Angie isn't afraid of tomorrow's time on it. <laughs> Because Tua has already welcomed me into his kingdom, I'll pay at the special discount at my local church, and now that apparently bought my way into heaven. And you can buy your way into heaven too, for the meager sum of just a dollar fifty-nine. Donate it to your local church, everybody. Ooh, shut up about Tua. Who God's not going to get us out of this situation? You don't believe? Oh, oh, what was that voice? You don't believe, Tenko? I can't believe I'm faced with this heresy. Come up on here to the front of the congregation, and I'm gonna fucking blast the power of a tour into ya. Piece of cake. Ooh, the only thing I believe in is a keto. I see. I see. What about you, Himiko? I'm a mate. Are you a blasphemous scum of the earth, just like Tenko here? I'm a mate. I don't need to learn any priest spells. I see. I see. Well, I suppose that's okay for now. Atu is a merciful God. He forgives everyone, even those who do not believe. You'll just have to come up to the pearly gates and atone for all of your blasphemous ways. But, but... And the non-believers always come around eventually. So divine! Because Atu is always with me. He's always flowing through my veins. He's deep inside me. How divine! I had to go there. I'm sorry. I do like your sprites, though. I do want to talk to that character. I... Just because she's kind of different. I don't think we've ever had, like, a full-on religious character before in Danganronpa. Which might make her kind of interesting. Ah, sip more tea. Ooh, why are you? I will not be deceived by your words. Huh. Nor will Himiko either. What a shame. Well, believing in a tour sounds like it's too much of a pain. Is that your reason? It's Neo Aikido. Ooh. Here we go. You should believe in a keto over her tour. What a That's a plan too. I just got to remember, if I'm going to do a Scooby-Doo voice, I need to change the first letter of everyone's names to R whenever she's talking. Because isn't that what Scooby-Doo pretty much does? Ooh, Raggy! And all that, you know. Or is that just with Shaggy that he does that? I, I don't entirely know. At Garden, we have to go down hither. And hopefully put Shuichi's plan into effect. Oh, God, look who it is over there. It's Gnome Boy. Gnome Boy! What's up? I guess since we're talking to everyone, uh, we'll be all right, won't we? How exciting! Oh, I guess that building over there is Mew's lab. I saw Mew run over there earlier. She was all sweaty and had a total creeper smile. Oh, okay. That's all you have to say, apparently. Okay. Good job. See, the exosiles are around all over the place, just doing stuff. Or doing whatever it is they're doing. What's that? Oh. Object with indentation. Oh, I just saw it then. I thought, is that something I can click on? Is this some kind of ped pedestal? Looks like it's missing whatever part goes on top. Alright, okay. There's been a few objects in the environment that we can click on, which don't really seem to do much, but maybe they'll be significant later. Who knows? So, oh, this is the Ultimate Inventor Lab, apparently. Well, it is certainly very workshop-esque, isn't it? Knock, knock. Who's there? Mew. Mew who? Mew who? Oh, Jesus. That was terrible. Right after I knocked, the door violently swung open. Jesus. Crashy skank. Well, good day to you too. Oh, yeah, yeah, you fucking light, you fucking kooky bitch. How dare you waste precious seconds of my time, gosh! Oh, it looks like she's back to normal. Fuck all y'all. 
Well, don't keep my gold brain waiting. Give me what you got. Yeah. Um. Okay, it's just these, but I took out the three cameras from my backpack and handed them to Mew. What was that? Oh, yeah, a disposable cameras. Hmm. A disposable cameras too difficult to modify for you? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you ask bird watchers if they know how to go and do me ask birds? Of course I can do it, you fucking bitch. Piece of cake. Then... Here are the security sensors, Josie. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, so you want me to use these sensors to make the cameras take pictures automatically, Gorsh? Uh, um... I was thinking, Josie, the camera could be triggered by the security sensor. I said, if the sensor detects movement, the receiver goes off and the shutter activates. So I'd like it to work if possible, Josie. After I heard that, I whispered into Shuichi's ear. What are you going to use that for? That's... I'm going to set it up on the moving bookcase, Josie. That way, we can, that way we can keep watching anywhere as long as we have the receiver with us. Okay, interesting. Careful not to uh, alert Miu to this, but uh, okay. If someone moves the bookcase, Josie, the receiver will let us know, right? And the camera connected to the sensor will take a picture of whoever moved the bookcase. Uh, mm -hmm. Input, come on now. Oh, I see it. You motherfucker. Oh, yeah, who are you two whispering about? No. Nothing. <laughs> You're just going to say that? Uh, input. 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 Right? Keep working, please. I wrote down the details here, Josie. Hmm. Wow, he's really got this planned out, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, the two cameras with Merlin security sensors that will take photos automatically. A third camera that will trigger the sensor receiver as it automatically takes a photo. Sure. Now, who do you need these, Korsh? Uh, um. Could you make them by tomorrow morning, Josie? Sure. <laughs> yeah, of course I can. You can tie me up and drip hard wax on me. I have salvation time. Is that an offer? Are we... Are you, are you saying you'd be okay with this dude? Okay, never mind. <laughs> and she just slams the door in our faces. Dear me, did, did I just... Sorry, did, did I, was I just... Was I just revealing something about myself that you probably didn't want to know? Mm. <laughs> uh, forget about that, everybody. Don't clip that. Did she just reveal some of her kings to us? Then... Okay, so she is pretty much a masochist. Is that what's going on? Is that the path we're going for here? Anyway, Josie, I think this will do it. We just have to wait for Mio to finish. Um... Kaide, what's wrong? No. Nothing. I was just thinking about how amazing you are for coming up with this plan, Shuichi. I really feel like something is going to happen to this guy. Because not only is it setting him up as the friend, now he has an actual plan for how to defeat the Mastermind already. He's dead. I'm telling you now, this guy is going to die. Because the thing is, Trigger Happy Havoc, we had a detective who lasted right to the end of the game and survived. And that was Kyoko. They're not going to do the same this time round, are they? Right? Because in, in Trigger Happy Havoc, you also had Byaka's Mealtator, who survived right to the end. And then in Danganronpa 2, when you had the character who admittedly wasn't Byaka's, but you thought he was Byaka's, he died first thing. So I'm just saying right now, I, I think Shuichi... I'm trying not to get too attached to you. Because you, you seem like a swell guy and all, but... I'm telling you now, you are too dangerous to live. In the Mastermind's eyes. Because you've got a plan. And uh, I think that means you're going to be the first to go. I'm just saying right now. Huh? Oh, what? You know? Honestly, when I first met you, I didn't think you'd be that reliable. <laughs> but look at me now, relying on you like a Sherlock Holmes or something, yeah? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Are we going to the library? Oh no, return to our rooms apparently. Oh no, of course, because what am I thinking? Mew's making the cameras and sensors. <laughs> Dirt moment. The event our separate phase on return to our rooms. So is it going to be free time now? Maybe? Maybe a bit more? Because it'd be good if it would be, wouldn't it? You know, come to think of it, I should have checked, shouldn't I? Um, gifts for people. So that then I could maybe... See if uh, Shuichi has any gifts that, you know, he likes any gifts that I have on me right now. But I haven't, so <laughs> it's going to be guesswork again, isn't it? <laughs> the time limit expires at night time tomorrow. Today's my last chance to roam around. I need to make sure I don't forget to do anything important. Free time! Oh, we got our furniture back. Boom! Yeah. Let's see. Never-ending supply of coins in this room. It's fantastic. Let's go. I better go out of here. Yeah. I think we'll probably actually head to the... Um, Thingy Bobber, the uh, school store first, just to see if we can get any more bits and bobs. Courtyard, school building basement, we don't want to go there, we want to be in here somewhere. Yeah, get, get to the place 
Don't want to be... Please. That one. Yes. Take me there. Here we are. Right. Just use up those coins that I've accumulated. Oh, we should go to the Ultimate Research Lab as well. Kaide's music room thing. Since that apparently is opened up, we might as well check it out. See what the deal is with it. Oh, I've wow, got 28 of these bad boys. All right. Uh, should I just do one at a time? Because we may get some presents that we've already technically had. Which uh, Shuichi might like. Like the Robot Yarchi one. Oolong tea. All right. Nice. Oolong tea. Ginger tea. Get all the teas in this one. All the teas for you. A nail brush. Okay. Interesting. I always just like sort of doing this uh, input. Jesus. Taking a while. I'm a picture book artist. Probably for Angie. Just saying. I don't know. Maybe. Cosmic blanket. Whatever that is. I don't even know. We're at 50% re re bleh, repeat rate. Okay, we got another Yarchi. That's good. We can give that to Shuichi again. Because apparently he does like those ones. As we saw last episode. A striped necktie. Nice. The monkey's paw. Okay. <laughs> Friggin' WW Jacobs up in here, good lord. Do we wish to escape from the killing game? A perfect laser gun around. Let's, let's start doing them in batches of five now, just to get that repeat rate down. A three hit KO sandbag. Hmm, interesting. I guess that might be for Tenko. Someone's student ID. Hang on, I need to have a look at that when we look at our gifts in a second. Another of those things. Cool. Uh, actually, fuck it. We're going to put the remaining 10 in, just to get that repeat rate down below 50. Here we go. Hand mirror. There we are. Okay, so we got a load of extra stuff there, which is great. Uh, let's just have a look then at what we picked up. Just uh, take a good shufty at it. Let's see now. Oolong tea, oxidised Chinese tea, different flavours and fragrances can be brought out depending on the degree of oxidation. Ginger tea, hot water with grated ginger, warms the body and prevents colds. Tastes delicious with honey mixed in. Nice. That's the sugar. We got that before, I think, didn't we? What card ice cream? There's the necktie. Stylish tie both men and women can wear. Convenient to have one around for special occasions. Lovely. Uh, beret. Size adjustable beret. It's a pretty popular hat that lets you feel trendy and somewhat artistic. Okay. Maybe Angie will like that. It feels like there's a lot of ones that could go to Angie here. Brush for painting nails beautifully. With this, anyone can make their nails sparkle like magic. You can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. I, I feel like there's a lot of items where it says that. So I'm going to keep hold of them. Uh, dreams come true. Splatine. Fun book of animals. Machine parts. Pocket-sized mirror that is incredibly useful for checking your appearance. Okay. I gave that Photoshop software to show each you, didn't I? I'm a picture book artist. An electronic device that's equipped with an AI to produce a new picture book every time it's turned on. Great for kids who love hearing bedtime stories. All right, nice. Okay, good. Uh, this thing over here. Three, three hit KO sandbag. Regardless of whether it's hit by a kick from a sickly child or a punch from a superhuman adult, this punching bag will always break on the third hit. Nice. So you can feel strong. Mummified hand of a monkey sent to, sent to grant three wishes. However, none of the wishes it grants have happy endings. Yeah, WW Jacobs reference, everyone. The monkey's paw. It's a story. I like it says there. The whole deal with it is, it grants you wishes, but there's always like a cost to them. I think it's in the original stories, it's something like one of the characters wishes for £200, I think it is. And so as a result, one of his relatives dies in a workplace accident. And as a result, he gets an insurance payout of £200. That's how it goes. Yeah. Okay, so we got another Yarchi. Perfect laser gun, replica of a laser gun used by upstanding citizens to punish rebellious or unhappy people. We're carrying this around and be sure to watch your coefficient. Okay, someone's student ID, replica of a student ID from some academy. There are as many different designs of ID as there are talented students. Okay, I was wondering if it was going to give a name, if there's going to be a reference there, but not sure. Uh, cosmic blanket, aluminum film, that, aluminium film, thank you very much, that makes excellent insulation. It warms your body when you wrap it around yourself, making it handy for outdoor activities. Great. Okay. Well, we can uh, go and check out the uh, music room slash ultimate research live for Kai Day. And then I think we'll go and do our free time events. We'll uh, definitely, I think, go and talk to Shuichi again, since we seem to be very much be going for... Oh, Jesus. Well, hello there. How are you doing? <laughs> I don't want to do my free time event with you. Oh, wait a minute. Where am I going? I need to go upstairs. What am I doing? 
It's going in completely the wrong fucking direction. Well, you know, Kaide, not good with directions. Never has been. No, you two are up here as well. Vesma, Ultimate Research Lab. Here it is. This is the one. Ultimate Pianist's Lab. Here we go. Clicked this time. Oh, it's unlocked. All right. Let's go in. Indeed. What's going to be in here, then? Piano? No doubt. Yeah, see? Ah, check this place out. Very nice. Something in the centre of the room caught my eye and I couldn't help but shout. Good job. Whoa, grand piano. Smiling, I ran towards it and lifted the cover. Beneath it, a clean row of black and white Schwarze und Weiss keys smiled back at me. I haven't touched a piano in a couple of days, but it feels like it's been forever since I played. Really, can you remember the last time you did? Huh. I really am the piano freak. <coughs> I guess it has technically only been a couple of days for these characters, hasn't it? CD racks. Look at them. I should do that thing where it shows you actually what you can look at. So a bunch of CDs lined up on the shelves. Most of them are classical music. God, what fucking year is it? CDs? CDs? It's all about the streaming these days, isn't it? Come on, Kaide, get with the programme. The works of minor and major composers from various eras and countries are all here. Where's my Chopin? So, is she just going to say the same thing if you look at all the different CD racks? Bunch of CDs. Okay, that's the same. So I'm guessing the final one is probably the same as well. There's a lot of CDs though, isn't it? How many have you got there? Alright, let's have a... what's that in the background? Speakers? Or the speakers, yeah. It's an audio device. Looks like I can use it to play the CDs on the wall. Okay, nice, nice. And the piano itself, I guess. It's been tuned properly too. I was concerned at first, but someone has clearly been taking good care of it. Nice. That's everything in here then. Except for the monitor, of course, but I doubt there'll be anything new about that, will there? There's a monitor for communicating. Nothing displayed. Okay, yeah. Again, just thinking. No security cameras. At least none that I can see. At least I can destroy the furniture, though. Any want coins? Oh, yes, there are. Okay, maybe. <laughs> Is it going to be worth us maybe going back to the school store? Just make another quick trip back there. Just to see if... Uh, we'll get some more gifts. Wow. It's a whole room that Kaide can indulge her furniture slapping fetish in. Isn't that great, ladies and gentlemen? Does it just warm the cockles of your heart to see youth indulging in their sexual fetish? Wait, what? No. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm tempted to go into the other classrooms just to smack some furniture around and just get some shiz. I should really maybe be saving this for, for friggin' uh, off-camera, but... Rontaro, uh, please don't be alarmed. I'm just going to uh, smack things around a bit and just see if I can get some stuff. See, look. There's fucking stuff all over the place. Come to think of it, was this the classroom that uh, Kaide and Shuichi found themselves in at the start? Or was that a different one? It might have been the other one, actually, now that I think about it. Liboom, destroy doors. Can I get that table, please? There we go. Boom. I don't know what it is, but this is weirdly fun. Smashing furniture. Boom. Come here. Give me that. Come on. Take the chair. There we go. There we go, see? Got a lot of stuff out of that. Have we been in this uh, particular classroom before? I don't think we have. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a monitor. Oh, the blackboard, technically. Interactive board, rather. A blackboard, so it's an LCD screen, huh? It's fine, it's more off putting than cool. Okay. Anything in here besides. Oh. Am I showing up too much? You're not getting sick of me, are you? Peek. Well, no, not at all, Monokuma. Don't you worry. This is a locker's... Oh, no, this is the classroom we were in. Feels like that happened so long ago. Huh. Just the windows. It's probably going to be the same thing as ever. Wrapped with barbed wire. Yeah. Why do they need to block it up? Oh, well, Rontaro, uh, nice to see you in here, but... Um, I'm hoping we'll get to do some free time events with him at some point, certainly. So... If that was the classroom we came out of, then, was this the one we couldn't go in before? Let's have a quick look. Huh. So, I thought this was the one. Oh, it says these are the lockers we came out of. Okay. That's weird. So, which classroom was it we were in? I thought it was this one, because it's got the green, uh, the green interactive board. I don't know. I think there's a wheel 
them were real. There's a bit of something weird going on there. I think they've just reused a bit of dialogue. Seems a bit lazy, but never mind. I'm just going to smash the furniture, please, Kibo. Don't mind me. I'm actually going up a bit in terms of levels for doing this, apparently, but that's cool, isn't it? God damn it. Sometimes it's hard to get them. It's like there's a sweet spot on each piece of furniture you have to hit in order to actually get rid of it. It's an interesting mechanic, though, for getting uh, monocoins, isn't it? Smash all of this. Go, go. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There we go. Give me that. Give me that shiz. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Nice. Right, let's get, let's get out of here. I can't spend the whole episode just smashing furniture. People will be thinking, what the hell are you doing, Red? And quite understandably so. Uh, let's go down here. Let's see what the dealio is. You know, I'm quite uh, certain that someone is going to die in this game before the time limit hits us. I'm pretty certain someone is. It's going to happen. And I'm convinced that something bad is going to happen to Shuichi. I don't know. Will it kill him off first? I feel like that could be the predictable option, but we'll see. All right. Oh, my God. I got 69. 69, bitches. The perfect number. Let's go down to 60 first and foremost. Get that repeat rate down. Boom. Olive oil. Nice. All over the jubbly. Uh, shall we put another 10 in? Here we go. Just to get it below 50. More maple fudge. Never mind. I guess that stuff's okay. Now we got a lucky. Gold origami. That's a new one, that is. I do think. Right. One more. Still below 50%. That's good. Ketchup. Nothing says, will you be my friend more than giving someone a plastic bottle of ketchup? Okie doke. More of those things. Nice. Yeah. Take it down. There we go. You have to keep pouring more in now to get it below uh, thingy. Feelings of ham. <laughs> what? Don't know what that is, but okay, sure, whatever. Uh, let's go. 15 coins. Non-alcoholic drink of immortality. How very peculiar. Fun book of animals, we've already got one of those. That's nothing new. Alright, let's put the remaining 15 in. One more. And another of those things. We already have one, I'm pretty sure, don't we? Let's go. Right, we've got free time events that need doing. Good lord, I've been recording for what, about 45 minutes there? I'm only just getting to these things. It was worth it just to see the uh, friggin' whatchamacallit music lab and all that. Uh, let's have a look at the map. Shuichi, whereabouts are you? You are somewhere. Oh, you're downstairs. Okay. Basement. That's fine. We can go there. Shuichi! Where are you? Are you not over there? You're... Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Looming out of the darkness, son. Come on. What do you got? Hey. Here's... How should I say this, Josie? A complicated person. Really helped that you were with me, Kaide. Should I spend time? Yes, I should. Hey. Let us do that. She is an ultimate, so I'm sure that she has the skills, Josie. Let's leave the cameras to Mew. Okay, I got another robot whale thing for you, if you want it. Spend some time with Shuichi. Yes, let's give him a, a presento, please. Good, 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 good. Definitely. Oh, gas from the tea coming up. Ugh. Uh, where's the robot Yachi? There it is. Helping Yachi, technically. Give selected. There we go. Yeah. Um. Can I really have this, Josie? Thank you, I'll take good care of it. It'll help soothe my anxiety at dark times like this. Hey. Ishuichi, why did you start getting involved in detective work? Did your uncle ask you to help him? No. Not oh, really, Josie. It just kind of happened. It was also a kind of thanks for taking care of me. Huh? He took care of you. Okay. I suppose I never mentioned this before. I'm living with my uncle and his wife right now, Josie. Uh, well, sorry, I didn't mean to pry. No. There's not a... There's not a blah, 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 try again. Oh, no, there's not a sad story behind it or anything, Josie. My parents went overseas for business. I see. What are they doing overseas? Uh, um, one's an actor and one's a screenwriter, Josie. Huh? An actor and a screenwriter? What? That's so cool. Is one of them Clint Eastwood from the outlaw Josie Bales? But... Well, for me, Josie, they're just a mum and dad who have a hands-off approach to parenting. <laughs> So I don't really see them as celebrities or anything. Shuichi's smile seems bitter. I wonder if his parents jerk him around a lot. Uh. Well, if he got off topic, there's something I wanted to ask you, Shuichi. 
What was your first case? Huh? First case, Josie. You know? It's the first case you personally oversaw. First times are usually a big deal for people, right? I still remember my first piano recital. Without a doubt, the experience of my first performance is still with me to this day. You're right. I suppose I do remember the first time I oversaw a case, Josie. It's actually not a case that came through my uncle's office. I accepted it on my own. Um, but what do you mean? That's... The classmate who knew I was helping at the detective's office asked me to find a pet, Josie. His first case as a detective was to find a missing pet. Hmm. You look like you weren't expecting that, Josie. Yeah. Is that obvious, sir? I guess you don't need to be the ultimate detective to deduce that. Hey. Well, detectives occasionally get requests to find missing pets, too. My uncle's office doesn't have a big staff, so he usually just recommends an ace pet detective. I didn't know pet detectives were a thing. <laughs> Couldn't say no, Josie, so I accepted the case, but I didn't expect I'd have to find an alligator. Wow. Huh? <laughs> I would be surprised, but it's Duncan Romper. We've had weird, weirder shit than that in this, in this series. An alligator. Not a dog, not a cat, but a freaking alligator. Wow. Well, it was a miniature alligator, Josie. One that you can keep as a pet. Huh? Okay, but still, that's pretty intense. You're right. I researched alligator behavior and spent a long time preparing tools to capture it, Josie. I had to climb around mountains and swim up rivers. It was a lot of work. Really? Wow. <laughs> okay. Compared to that, the first fight I came across during the infidelity case was nothing. Mm. Jeez, that sounds rough. So did you manage to find the alligator? Okay. Yeah, of course, Josie. Mm -hmm. Is that a relief? Your classmate must have been happy too, right? Okay. I suppose she um, gave me some chocolate for Val. Oh, wrong voice. I suppose she gave me she uh, she gave me some chocolate for Valentine's Day, Josie. Huh? Chocolate. But... I'm pretty sure it was just as friends, though. Please. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. I don't know. Was she blushing intensely as she gave it to you? Who knows? That's not it. I don't think that's the thought. It's trouble you had to go through. Okay. It might be right, Josie, but I think it was reward enough. You think so? Are you sure? But. The knowledge it took to solve that case became the foundation for my detective work, Josie. And I was so happy to be of use to someone. I can still, uh, still hear her thank you to this day. Shuichi laughed bashfully. He seems pretty satisfied with how everything turned out. Shuichi? I'd say being a detective suits you, Shuichi, but I think it's more than that. I think you are destined to be a detective. Huh? What makes you say that, Josie? You know? Then you told me how you follow up with your clients. It never once occurred to me that detectives could show that kind of compassion. Compassion makes people trust you. If he offers them your hands, they'll reach for it. The world needs more detectives like you, so I hope you'll stay a detective forever, Yar. Ah. Oh, but that's just my opinion. In the end, it's your decision, Shuichi. Thank you. Yeah, of course, but thank you, Josie. Huh? Via thanking me, I just gave you my opinion, that's all. Because hmm. that's the first time someone has ever said that to me, Josie. I'll never forget this moment. I'll be able to believe in myself and be proud of being a detective. Nice. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. I can feel the resolve behind that statement. I'm not sure how Shuichi interpreted my words. But if it helped him in any ways, then that's good enough for me. There we go. Three more fragments of his to obtain. Question is, do we get more free time events? Because the thing is, that deadline is looming that Monokuma set. And I'm still worried that something is going to happen to this character. After parting phase with Shuichi, I return to my room. Okay, so do we get another free time event today? Hey dude, new. At least my furniture's back here. I can get some more monocoins. No time for us to start for a while, so I guess I'll see what everyone has. Yes, see? We'll do this one as well, before we wrap the episode up, I think. I always forget, you can't bash that table away, I don't think. Unless there was a sweet spot on it, but no. Get the lamp and that, though. See, look. Coins. We're always resetting. It's fantastic. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go maybe talk to Shuichi again, if he's around. Is he in his room, do you reckon? I would, I would do someone else. I would go for someone else's free time, Ben. But I, it's just I, I get a real feeling that something's going to happen to that character, and you know how this game goes. If you have someone you want to talk to, talk to them straight away. Doesn't matter what other people say. Just talk to who you want to talk to, and you know, try and talk to them because you never know when they're going to die or whether something bad's going to happen to them. Mr. Shuichi, I don't have any business with him right now. Oh, what? Can we not talk to him again? No, I must be able to, right? Where's he at? Shuichi? Shuichi? Where are you? Hello? He's in classroom A, apparently. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. I'm just going to go to classroom A. Can I not talk to him again? Or is it just saying that because... Because um, we've... Um, jumped into his room and he's not in there. That's my guess, at least. Shuichi! 
You in here? There you are. Ooh, more furniture to slap around. Yes, please. Hold on, Shuichi. I'll just get to you in a second. Kaede always gets that tingling feeling whenever she sees some prime slap around furniture. She can't help herself. She gets all hot under the collar. You can see it in her flushed cheeks. The perspiration trickling down her brow. As she sees the furniture. You see her hands twitching. She just has to smack it. But, you know, it's better that she's slapping the furniture and not people, right? No, come here. Give me. Give me that table. Oh, table. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, no more coins, seriously. Also, no locker in this uh, particular room, is there? Is there something on the board, actually? Oh, meanie. Yes. Oh, I thought maybe hmm, she'd say something if... Uh, you had it in that mode and you could see what was on the screen, but apparently not. Alright, Shuichi. Let us talk and converse once more. What's up? This is a ho oh, wrong voice. <laughs> There's a whole day left, Josie. I'm starting to get nervous. Should I spend time with Shuichi? Yes. Sorry. I'm sorry I said something so pathetic, Josie. I'll drink some tea and try to calm down. Tea, eh? Can we give you some tea? Because I've got teas in my, um, in my gifts. Maybe I could give him some of that. Maybe he'll like tea, actually. Could be. Because that's the thing. Sometimes I wonder if maybe, in order to work out what sort of gifts people like, you have to look for tiny little clues. Maybe. I don't know. I spent some time drinking tea with Shuichi. We grew a little closer. Yes. I'd like to give him a prezi. Yes, we would. So let's have a look at the teas, then. Maybe he'll want some of this. Um, oxidized Chinese tea. So we've got the oolong. We've got the ginger. Warms the body and prevents colds. Maybe this would be kind of like a relaxing one. Maybe you'd like that. What's that? The non-alcoholic drink of immortality. Neither grants no immortality nor does it taste good. Okay. Catch up with an exclusive writing instrument for a maid to use to write messages on omelettes. Considered a normal condiment by some people. That's a reference, isn't it, to these maid cafes you get in places like Akihabara, where you can actually get maids to spell things out on your food in ketchup in those cafes. Vegetable oil created from all of this wielded correctly will make you look... Uh, make you it will make you look cool as you cook. I was having a weird moment then. Should we try the ginger tea? Do you think you'll like that one? Let's try it. Try the ginger tea. It might soothe them. Thank you. I can tell that you put a lot of time and thought into this. Thank you, Josie. You gave me something this wonderful. I wish I could give you something in return. Okay, I'm guessing he likes it then. What did he? Oh, what? What? <laughs> if we can... Damn it, I put all that thought into it and it turned out that doesn't trigger his free time. <laughs> you don't look like you're doing too well. Issue an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. Funny you bastard. Wait, wrong voice. Funny you bastards, this might be your last night time ever. No way! Don't do something violent to start the killing game. You can make it one more night. So maybe it is worth uh, actually looking at these announcements because it seems that they do do things differently. Oh, I get it now. I totally get it. Bomb the number. It's crystal clear to me now. I understand everything. Bomb the number. See, the look at your face. The way your eyes are angled. The way your face is floating. That's a crazy face. <laughs> Monica seems really out of it. Is this what happens when you drink too much honey? Sign. Maybe it is, Monotaro. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Last night time ever, huh? No, it won't be our last night time ever. Just our last night in this horrible place. Tomorrow night I'm getting out of this place with everyone else. Yeah, yeah we promised we would be all be friends once we got out. Oh, boy. It's getting close to that deadline. Something's going to happen. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what are you, the godfather? Oh, jeez. I, I would try and do a godfather voice, but... I don't know how that would sound. In fact, actually, does anyone um, does anyone remember the Hugh Grant movie Mickey Blue Eyes? It's an it's, it's an older movie now. It must have come out in two thousands, somewhere around there. It's a romantic comedy starring obviously Hugh Grant, and the storyline was something like Hugh Grant is a English uh, auctioneer dude who works in New York uh, for an auction house, a really swanky posh auction house. And he's dating this woman, who turns out to be 
the daughter of a guy who is part of an Italian-American mafia. And basically it's about when he marries into this family and having to put up with this mafia family who are now his relatives. And uh, at one point in the movie, there's this character who I'm pretty sure is meant to be a parody of Marlon Brando's character in The Godfather. Because apparently, I've never actually seen The Godfather, right? I have to admit. I have to confess something. I've never watched it. But apparently Marlon Brando in that movie has a very distinct way of speaking. And um, Mickey Blue Eyes parodied this with this one random character who talks in this really distinct way where he's like, he can't talk properly. Where he's like, who really want to say this? So maybe I should do a voice like that. the parents. They have all these other the tree and thank you. God, actually makes me feel a bit lightheaded doing that voice. future. So you say thank you. you to use the people around you. So I say thank you to people. I do lots of stuff for your benefit. Jesus. My god, that actually does make me feel a bit weirdly lightheaded. Good god. Oh, thank god that was the last line. Jesus. Okay, no way am I doing that voice again. I say that, if it comes up with that scene again, I'll feel myself having to do it, but yeah. Guys in China sign! It is now 8 a.m. It's an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. Wake up, bastards. It's 8 a.m. My heart's racing. Oh, today's the day the time limit expires. My heart is pounding with excitement. Don't worry. Let me get me my Dutch cheese. Don't worry. Even if you end up in hell, at least you can be proud that you didn't do the killing game. The hell you saying? You're just assuming they're going to go to hell. <laughs> this is in, this is in, and you 16 are the who to live and come as the humans. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh oh Hey, Monarchid, why don't we go over there and drink some more honey, okay? So long, farewell! He's really out of it. Good lord. Okay. Okie doke. Well, we're going to wrap this episode up here, ladies and gentlemen. This is episode 8 of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony with me, General Red Strategist. Please don't ask me to do the uh, Godfather voice again. <laughs> that, all that parody Godfather voice again. That actually genuinely makes me lightheaded doing that voice. It's like it sucks all the air out of me. Jesus. I never would have thought that a voice could actually make me lightheaded in that respect. So there we go. We had another couple of free time events. Shuichi has put a plan into motion, which is why I feel like he's triggering death flags left, right and centre. I'm worried about him. So we'll see how that turns out. So the time limit is uh, going to be soon upon us. Someone is going to die before that. I'm telling you now. It's going to happen. We can't not have a Danganronpa game without someone dying. So... We'll see how that turns out in due course, ladies and gents. Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with the links to my propaganda channel for anyone interested. On that, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next part, everybody. Goodbye, all. Jesus, a lot of rocket and gaffers who taken out here. Oh boy, we get to go to the friggin' river boats. Ah, oh, this is what I've been looking forward to. I said, we've got. That's a bit glitchy. Who's inside? Oh, wow. So you see, they've even got... You see, one thing I was worried about, you know, with this mod, was that I'd look at these kind of big paddle wheels here, and they'd just be sort of weird models that glitch into the side of the ship. But no, Matt Maker has actually taken the time to make sure they actually look realistic. That's not bad. But you see, these... Okay, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm just looking at the paddle wheels for now, because I'm admiring the design of this level, but... This obviously is one of those kind of steamboats that has its paddle wheels on the sides. 